Far Cry 5 has changed the game, not only with it delivering a solid single player campaign, a decent multiplayer, but the big thing here that I find it most interesting about Far Cry 5 is the map editor and how it just blows everything out of the water and how amazing it is and how it has changed the game when it comes to console map editing. As a longtime Halo fan, I've been a big fan of the Forge mode that's been with Halo since Halo 3 and I thought that was a huge expansion of what is possible to do on a console. It's the gives people a creative outlet within your game and it's absolutely fantastic where the community creates content for your game so then it honestly would lift off a little bit of burden on the uh, on the developers as well. And when the Halo 5's Forge mode finally released out, I was blown away of how advanced this Forge mode in Halo 5 was compared to anything else I've seen. I've seen games previously, like Doom, had its own map editor, but I didn't really see that take off a whole lot, maybe because I've, Doom was kind of more of a single player experience and not so much of a multiplayer, or maybe just the multiplayer didn't really take off too well. And that's probably why you didn't see the map editor go off like it could have, because it looked really easy, really simple. You can make great assets with that game. But Halo 5, the amount of creations that have been in this game through Forge is absolutely insane. Everything from just your standard multiplayer map to an infection map to I've seen boss battles created in Halo 5 and also just fun random songs with a piano playing Smash Mouth All Star. Well, the years start coming and I don't stop coming. I fed to the rules of the hit the ground running. Did it make sense not to live for fun? Your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. There's so many different possibilities you can do with Halo 5's Forge. And I thought, how could a game developer do any better than this? This is fantastic. But then Far Cry 5 came out, and I was absolutely blown away with the map editor that's in the this game. The amount of editing you can do for your map in this game is absolutely absurd. You can change the terrain and just mold it however you liked it to be, and there's over 9,000, that's right, over 9,000! What 9,000?! Assets that are in this game, and it's absolutely, they all look fantastic, but they don't look like they're random blocks or anything that you just can't texturize they look like actual assets from the game so when you're making your map it looks like a developer made map i've been seeing you know even though it's in its infancy right now i've been seeing some fantastic creations on youtube that i'm like this could honestly be you know, mistaken for its own game or somebody making their own game like i've been seeing Far Cry 5 zombie modes. I've been seeing Far Cry 5 uh, uh, levels that people have to play through. And this is where I feel like there's a huge opportunity for Halo 5 to really capitalize on. And that's bringing AI into the Forge mode as well. And also just the better, better texturing, better map editing abilities. And I think that now the bar has been officially raised by Far Cry 5's map editor to where if you're making a map editor and it needs to be, and then if you want people to actually play it, it needs to be at this level, which is a very high level. I have to get my hats off to the developers for Far Cry 5 because it is a Forge dream, a Forge map editor player, whatever dream. Where it seems like literally, they always say the possibilities are endless with every kind of new Forge or new map editor that goes into a game, but this literally the limitations are the map size and that's about it it seems like so now this being a halo based channel how does the far cry 5 map editor relate at all to halo 5 well like i mentioned earlier this raises the bar to a level that i think 343 really needs to step up their forge game and bring in certain elements that were in far cry 5's map editor one, obviously, I think being able to mold the terrain rather than adding piece, terrain pieces, I think was truly the best way to go about editing terrain as well. Um, the amount of textures you can have in this game are absolutely absurd and they all look fantastic, like developer made quality. And the cool thing about all the assets that are in this game is that it's not just Far Cry 5 assets, there's Far Cry 4. Watchdogs, Assassin's Creed Unity, Assassin's Creed Black Flag elements in this as well. You know, reaching over the aisle to kind of, you know, grab assets from other Ubisoft title games, which is absolutely amazing. Which I think if Halo 5 is going to, Halo 6 is going to have a forge, you're going to have to bring in assets from maybe like Halo Wars or maybe uh, assets from Halo 3, maybe or just bring in the raw textured versions of the Halo 3 to, uh, elements, like uh, so you can have the fans that want that classic art style back. They can do that. They can create that map that they would like. 
or edit the terrain to exactly something that they would like to have for their maps because terrain is such a huge part of what makes a good map and having just these uh, segmented pieces that are really tough to really mold into exactly what you want and have it play out well can be very difficult for a map editor in Forge. E maybe even bring in assets from other games within the Microsoft franchise. I mean, we have the Gears of War franchise, which is now strictly owned by Microsoft because they have the Coalition, much like 343, same situation, you know, making new Gears games. Why not add, bring in some assets from over there? Or maybe even bring in some assets from the Forza franchise or any other Microsoft titles. Maybe we can have a mic a mic Minecraft, exact Minecraft kind of level Forge assets. That would just be fun and a great thing to bring into the game. Just add some more fun to the game, not have it be so serious. You know, give players some more options and you know, have an ability to create exactly what they want or do whatever. You know, have some fun with it rather than have it just being strictly just Halo or something like that. You know, reach out across the aisle, have some fun. You know, we you know never know what kind of creations people can come up with when it comes to this stuff. But I say the biggest thing that needs to come for Halo 6's Forge is that they need to bring in the ability to have AI on your Forge map. How amazing would that be to be able to make your own PVE experiences within Halo 6? That would be absolutely amazing. You can actually script Far Cry 5 AI to just patrol certain areas or act certain ways when things happen. And that would be absolutely amazing to have in the next Halo game because really, even though the DLC for Halo 4 was a lot of Spartan Ops stuff, it left a lot to be desired because the gameplay of Spartan Ops is honestly rather boring. The story that was tied along with it was fantastic. I would love to see more of that. But the... the there was no PvE experience that was uh, external from the initial release of Halo 5. Now how amazing would that be to have user created PvE experiences where you're playing through their level or something like that. That would be absolutely amazing. I would, that would be just a great thing to have additional to this game rather than having just strictly PvP uh, focused map editing where you can actually create your own levels you can create your own story within Halo 6, which is, I think, but the bar, like I said before, the bar has been raised by Far Cry 5 development team, and that if you're going to make a, put a map editor into a game, it needs to be at this quality to make it even worth your while, because I've seen a lot of uh, Halo Forge creators on YouTube, they're all jumping over the Far Cry 5 right now, which is one, because it's the new hot game right now, but it's also that it's really freaking good, and the the amount of creativity you can have with the Far Cry 5 map editor is absolutely insane. And not only that, they have, of course, a content browser with built in within the game. And from my from what I've seen, it functions very well. Much more than saying how what happens with with Halo 5's content browser, where if someone's joining or leaving the game, the game really freezes up and slows down, and it really kind of hinders the experience of playing these playing the content browser. Because I think it was one of the greatest things that's been added in Halo 5 since uh, since Forge itself, really. Uh, something I've always wanted since Halo 2 in the game, but maybe the infrastructure just wasn't there for that. But now that we have it. It just kind of doesn't function as well as I'd hope it to be. Maybe when uh, the content browser drops for the MCC, maybe we could uh, see some improvements there. But for the most part, uh, it's a great idea, but the functionality of it is not the best. And it seems like with Far Cry 5, it functions exactly how you would like it to function. But don't get me wrong though, Halo 5's Forge was a huge step in the right direction. It was the, this is Forge and Halo 5 is certainly the best that's ever been created in the franchise. So I give, I give my hats off, I think it was Tom French was the lead for Forge on that one. Now I believe he's the lead for multiplayer. So we can kind of see that uh, when you're doing something well, you get promoted. And that's definitely what happened with Tom French and what he was able to accomplish with Halo 5's Forge. Though, like I said earlier, if Halo 6 wants to be out and have a Forge mode, it has to be at the quality of, say, Far Cry 5. Like I said in the beginning of this video, Far Cry 5 has changed the game when it comes to a map editor and really makes it easily accessible for players to go in and create their own content while also being extremely detailed to where you can have unlimited amount of customization that you would want to have for your games and maps. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I would love to see this implemented, all these extra that assets and AI and all these amazing things that added into when Halo 6 rolls around. I think that's going to have to be a necessary thing for people to give Forge the time that it should deserve. So 
Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Are you playing Far Cry 5? Are you playing it ever? Have you looked at all with the map editor in Far Cry 5 and the Far Cry 5 Arcade? Arcade? 5 Cade? <laughs> if I could talk, that'd be fantastic. But Far Cry 5 Arcade mode, I think it's amazing. And it's something that will keep people's retention so much. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what comes forward with Halo 6. So let me know in the comment section down below guys what you think about Far Cry 5 and its map editor and what you would like to see for Halo 6's Forge mode as, as well. But anyways guys, that's the end of this commentary. I want to thank you all for watching very much. I do appreciate it. Check out the videos on the screen right now if you've missed any content from me. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.